Hello, this is Joe, and welcome back to the channel. You know, if you've been following me, you know my weather this summer has been really bad, and I just haven't had too much of a chance to actually do any imaging. I think I've had about four days this summer to image, or four nights total. And uh, I've been working on a project, and hopefully I'll get that video out uh, sooner than later on that as well. But for today, I wanted to talk about uh, printing your astrophotography images. Uh, a lot of people get into the hobby and they think that they're going to right away just print these amazing images. And I guess while you could, uh, I found uh, that myself, what I did was I just started sharing them uh, in social media and on YouTube and to just family and friends, but all in a digital format. And what really got me started actually thinking more about taking actual prints or taking my images to actual print uh, was my wife got me a, a really nice um, canvas print, I'll show that here, of this is one of the first images that I ever took with a dedicated astrophotography setup. Um, I had the Z81 and it was an ASI uh, 1600 uh, mono camera. And uh, I, I thought I would pick this location to do this video because well, I could kind of hold these up on the wall. Um, so if you're interested in doing a print, um, I think she got this off of Amazon for me. And this is on a canvas. And uh, yeah, it came out really nice. Uh, I, I really like this uh, image. It was one of my favorites for a long time when I got, first got started. And I'm not quite sure how good you're going to be able to see this with the glare. But you will notice that there is a glare. Um, so if this was actually up on the wall at different angles, you would see a glare on this canvas print. So I just thought it'd be really cool to show you um, some of the different prints that I have and, and the differences. So I'm going to put up on the screen now what the actual image looks like, the digital image. And then you can compare it with the printed image here and, and kind of get an idea of the difference between the digital image and the printed image. And also, I'd like to show that this image here, or this image, this print, is uh, actually a canvas print. It's, this is the back of it, and this is the way it came. And it wasn't very expensive as far as a canvas print goes. Um, I think it, I want to say it was about $30 and it was on an Amazon, one of the services on Amazon. Uh, I will try and find it and leave a link in the description below in case you're interested in doing that. So the other prints I wanted to show you is this one here of the Bat Nebula in the Cygnus Loop. This is a much smaller print, of course, but if you notice, it's... Uh, it's very shiny, and that's because it's printed on acrylic. And um, this wasn't very expensive. I think it was about $20. Uh, and I used another service on Amazon for this. And it's, it's very delicate. I don't know if I'm going to make this out. But I actually um, cracked it right here, and it kind of broke a little bit when I was trying to hang it. And um, so you have to be careful with them. But I like the way this came out. Um, I'm going to show you the digital image, and then we can compare it with this one here afterwards. Um, this has a lot more glare, and it almost acts like a mirror because it's, it's plastic and it's very shiny. Um, but it, it comes out really nice, and if you put it at the right angle in the room uh, where the lights aren't shining, it, it works. It's just, just hard to find a spot for it. But I wanted to show that as well. Oh, and this is the way it comes on the back. There's some kind of a poster board type of a foam board behind it. And then these two little pressed boards here for hanging them up. And that's not bad for $20, I didn't think, uh, as a print. Now, the next one I have is the print of the A-Pod that I got uh, with uh, Russell Discom and Glenn Clowder. And uh, this is, this is uh, what we got our A-Pod for, the Crescent Nebula. And I had this printed on metal. So this is what you see here is a metal print. And you could really see, and I can get all of outside and um, 
the hedge that needs trimming in front of this window and everything and the camera. Uh, so it's, it's even more reflective or just as reflective as the acrylic, but it is made of metal. And this print costs quite a bit more. I got, um, I got this done at Bay and it was just over a hundred dollars shipped for the metal. And I'll show you the back here. Um, it's all, it's an aluminum, and then they put this foam, they put this like foam backing or something on it, and then another piece of aluminum behind that, and that's how you hang that up. Um, so I'm going to put a, the digital version of this up on the screen, and then I'll see if I can get this to not glare, and we'll compare it with the, uh, with the printed version. And the printed version of this does not even come close to the digital version. Um, the colors are the same on my monitor for all these images, so I feel like my monitor is calibrated. Um, but it is important that you do calibrate your monitor so that you know that the images are going to be, that the color is going to come out the same. But what I'm finding is, is that you need, in order to get the prints to come out anywhere near close to the digital images, that you need to um, brighten these up a lot. Uh, to almost to the point where on the digital image everything almost looks washed out or, or too, the, the colors just look too bright or too bleeding. Um, I think that's the trick to getting these prints to come out. Um, but I haven't completely tried that yet. So um, lastly I got two more prints but they're the same and they're just on paper with a, a backer board on it. So there's, this one has got a double backer board, it's about an eighth inch thick. And uh, this image is a 10 by 15, so it's not quite as big uh, as the other ones that I'm showing you. And of course, this is the Horse Head and Flame Nebula. And this one is printed on some very deep matte paper so that uh, there's no shine to it. There's, no, there's very little reflection, or there shouldn't be any reflection on it. And uh, I, I don't know if there's a point holding this up to the wall because it's, it's pretty small, but... You know, maybe you don't want these big giant prints in your house and you just want some small ones. I really like the way this came out uh, quite a bit. I think I got this from MPix and uh, it was pretty cheap. I think this was $20 um, and the biggest cost is really the, if you just get this printed on paper, I believe it's nine, nine bucks and uh, the, the backing on it and the deep matte paper, I believe, um, is what brought the price up to $20. Here's another image. This one's better off uh, on a horizontal type of platform. And of course, this is uh, M16, the Eagle Nebula, um, and the Pillars of Creation. And this was uh, printed on the exact same uh, paper as the other one, and it's got the same thickness. So I really kind of like the way that these came out, and um, I think these were the closest to the actual digital image, but you know, I'll continue to, I'll put this digital image up now and then uh, we can compare it with this one here. So that's really all I had. I wanted to show off some of the prints and uh, I would like to know what you guys use. Uh, are you printing off your astrophotography images? If so, are you using your own printer at home or what service do you use? And have you found, you know, that you prefer one type of paper over another? There's matte, there's glossy, there's semi-gloss, there's just a ton of different types. And then, of course, there's the canvas prints, there's the acrylic prints, the metal prints. So I'd be really interested to know what you guys are doing, if you are. And if you aren't and you are interested, I will try and put a lot of the links to where I got these down in the description below. I well, hope you found that video useful or entertaining in some way. If so, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to know where I find my targets to shoot for in astrophotography, then check out this video that I did right here.